What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for a rant. If you don't like hearing me talk about the game and and, and the problems that AKW has, then by all means please click off this video, but I am, I'm trying to keep this conversation positive, I'm trying to uh, talk about this in such a way that there, there might be results. So if you are someone from AE watching this, or if you are someone who, who uh, favours some of the ideas that I'm going to talk negatively about, then please keep an open mind and please hear me out. And uh, above all else, this, I want this to be a positive conversation that gets positive results rather than people being mad. So first of all, I'd like to com I'd like to complain about uh, yesterday's event. Yesterday, um, the Celestial Arena, I believe is what it was called, came out um, in celebration of R Rank's birthday. I think I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. There's really lots of weird words I don't know how to pronounce with with this community. But yeah, um, so the event came out, and essentially how it worked was. You go to the arena map, you talk to the NPCs there, you get some quests, and you go into the arena. Now, the arena is designed to have one player and one boss. The bosses, as you kill the bosses, you complete, you complete the quest and go to the next one, and as you progress, the bosses get more and more difficult. This is uh, kind of just a cool concept, like a, kind of like a... Um, a gladiator like battle royale, I guess type of thing where um, you know you're going through and you're defeating the the beasts and they get stronger and stronger as, as uh, you, you go through them and uh, Eventually you get to the point where they are supposed to be very difficult to kill But I think this highlights a really important issue with AKW and that's just soloing in general I I do believe that soloing is a very negative thing for AKW and I'll explain why so soloing um, goes against what MMORPGs try to be I think and this is my opinion. My opinion is soloing is boring. It's very much a a self. So it, well, of course, that's the very nature of soloing is, is you're by yourself. And I think MMORPGs by nature should encourage players to be together. I think other multiplayer games do this just pretty good. Where, for example, um, in the um, Blizzard MOBA Heroes of the Storm, um, if you are partied with other players, you get XP bonuses. You just get a flat XP bonus. It's not much. It's like 25% per player, I think. Which, I, I, actually, no, it's not that much. I think it's, I think it increases in amounts of like 5% as every player you add to your party. But uh, you can get like 50% max, I believe, bonus XP. Which is, it's a pretty substantial bonus, and it's just nice to have other players with you. So, for example, if we're sitting there playing, um, me and my me and my friends, we're like, yeah, you know what, Bob, you come join our party, mate. Don't care if you're playing badly, we'd just rather have you here because one, it's it's great to have our friends playing games together and two, X, more XP is just better. I want to have more XP. What's what's wrong with having more XP? And you know, when I meet new players, I see that, hey, you want to join my party, get some bonus XP? Why not? Sure, join my party. It's a great way of doing it and I think AQW could honestly use some mechanics like this. They have already implemented classes where you have bonus damage, bonus healing or whatever from uh, from having a, a full party, but I think honestly XP bonuses would be a great way to encourage players to stick together um, But the, one of the problems with that idea is that XP is very small in the game You don't actually get much XP from the vast majority of monsters So I think a good way to do that as well is to increase the amount of XP you get from monsters I think AE has a, a, a problem where they, they think that um, they need to really make players work hard to level up and that, that's okay but I think I think a great way to make players work hard is to complete storyline. So I think completing storylines should give really large amount of XP, whether it's from the quest rewards, because you know completing storylines is obviously completing quests, but I think just generally completing storylines should give you a big, big lump sum of XP at the end or, you know, just a decent amount of XP, you know, have actual like gameplay mechanics encourage you to, to work together. I think that's a big, big theme I'm seeing here is AKW needs to encourage players to be together and to work together. Um, and so that's a that's one th one idea I guess you could you could implement. And obviously there's other ways you could do that as well. Maybe increase drop rates for for having uh, fuller parties. Um, increase you know uh, decrease maybe not decrease monster health, but like just make it make it perhaps easier or more um, rewarding for players to be together. I think that's just a, a key idea. More rewarding for players to be together. Now, um, that would ideally reduce the amount of people who go off and do stuff by themselves. You'd be surprised with how much of the player base is simply ignoring all other players and going to rooms by themselves. I, I'm, I hope you guys have seen my other videos where um, I'm just compl I'm, I'm completing the seven deadly dragons events. I think I did lost in my last video in the background and the gameplay, and I was just sitting there doing the whole event by myself. There's no need for me to interact with anyone else. There's no no motivation to do so, and in fact. 
you can just do the entire storyline of AKW completely by yourself, and I think that's wrong. And honestly, you'd see much more players in general just all over the place in AKW if they encouraged people to be in public rooms or to be um, out in the open. And of course, this encourages people to make friends, to add people to their friends list, to, you know, join my guild, you know, join my party, add me on Discord, you know, partying up and all that. That's just, it's just a great thing. And many other games encourage this and and, uh, and allow for this. But AKW either A, doesn't encourage it, or B, just simply doesn't allow for certain functionality. You know, they don't have bonuses. They don't have an easy way for them to, to, to party up and to voice chat and to connect with one another. It's very difficult for that to happen. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's just one aspect of it, but I also think that the game should be balanced around soloing not being a thing. AKW should actively try and make people kill bosses together. Now, eliminating soloing entirely from the game is a bit, a bit too far. I, a couple of polls I'd like to mention, one of which was um, run by me on my Twitter account. I got 183 votes and I basically the poll was I said no boss should be soloable, and the two options were I agree or I disagree. Now clearly, 56% uh, of people said that they disagree with the statement. So they disagree that no boss should be soloable. 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 So that's that's a pretty clear um, victory there for the people who think that bosses should be able to be soloed. Um, however, I'd like to I'd like to point out that soloing is much more boring than trying to work together. Like I mentioned before, partying up, making friends, talking with each other, having 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 a chat with other players is generally more fun than sitting in a room by yourself. Um, of course, that's not even bringing in gameplay. Gameplay can be so much more engaging and entertaining if you are doing it with other people. Games like Overwatch or Heroes of the Storm or you know um, League of Legends or Dota or w World of Warcraft, all of those sort of games, they all encourage people to work together and synergize their abilities across characters. You have a game that encourages people to have unique skill sets and stuff, but yet AQW doesn't ever encourage people to use them together. It's very limited in, in that respect. You have Arachnomancer who can buff dots, and so classes like Dragon Shinobi that are, revolve around dots are then quite good, but it's very limited. Um, and so I think classes like Stonecrusher are a decent idea where you've got a haste buff for your team, so classes with short cooldowns like Card Clash have become really powerful. And so I think certain synergies like that should be more widespread. I think they should be applicable to every situation, you know? And classes that do um, certain things should focus on those specific things. Like I mentioned in my review of the Void Highlord class, um, I think Void Highlord would, would have been a much better class if it just focused on tanking. There's no there's no real like tank class in the game that's, that's good at the moment, you know? The game doesn't encourage people to work together, so tanking classes don't really work because What's the point in tanking when you can just solo? And so I think um, if the game just encourages people to work together by making boss fights really hard, then you'd have people who, you know, oh, I'll go healer, um, I'll go, um, I don't know, blood titan, and then oh, I'll go um, chrono dragon knight, and then that combo allows for tanking, damage, and healing. Um, whereas the current environment, um, the game is balanced around you you going to a boss and killing it by yourself. Um, so my idea is that you, you make bosses much, much harder to kill, as a general rule of thumb. Um, older bosses, maybe not, because, you know, there's not many people trying to kill older bosses, like Wolfwing or, you know, um, Legimane or just older Chaos Lords and stuff. Those sort of bosses, it probably you could just leave them as being able to be soloed. But I think newer bosses especially, um, should, and bosses that are just, you have motivation to kill, should be difficult to kill. I don't think you should be able to solo newer bosses. I don't think you should be able to solo bosses just generally. Um, obviously, you'd have to balance many other aspects of the game around that. For example, you'd have to motivate people to, like I said, motivate people to work together so they're not you're not just thinking, I can go solo this. And then also um, motivate people to kill bosses. So maybe increase the rewards from bosses. If, if you want to release a new class that's farmable, like Void Highlord, for example, or I don't know, like a new class, um, then that new class which is going to be in high demand, AE will be able to predict that the new class is in high demand, make the requirements for that class, killing a certain boss or killing certain monsters, make those monsters difficult to kill. So your A, you've got players that want to kill it, so you're eliminating the issue of not having enough people to try and kill a boss, um, and B, you've got motivation. You've got 
motivation to kill a boss together. You might increase the drop rate of, of items if you've got more people together or something like that. So you're, you're just overall, A, making the game hard as, as a solo player and B, making the game um, more, mo I guess you're just motivating players to, to stay together. Um, I kind of explained that a bit weirdly. But you probably get the idea. Players work together and that just allows for more fun to be, to be had. Um, and so yeah, just you can you can dive so deep though on the whole um, synergize aspects of, of stuff. So you can you can have certain abilities that might like focus the enemy's attacks on you alone. So you're tanking, and then you might have your healer to heal you up from all the damage you're taking, and then someone else is dealing the damage, so that boss is dying. You know, there's so many ways that you can make the game more complex and more fun if you just encourage so, uh, encouraged people to work together. Um, we don't really have much communication from AE on this matter. There's not really been like a, a couple like statements from from the dev team to say that they they encourage this idea idea or they discourage it. All we've really seen is that the server rewrite is going to um, overhaul combat, and that's kind of it. They've said they're going to overhaul combat, but we don't know in which way they're going to do it. You can kind of see where they're going with the way that the the rewrite's going on the testing service, but you still can't really predict what they're trying to what they're trying to do. We, can we get a, just a statement from AE that says, yes, we want players to work together. Yes, we want our community to be united. Yes, we want our community to to, to stay together in, in both gameplay and, and discussion and community and, and ideology. We want our community to be united. Instead, they release a, an event where you kill 30 bosses by yourself. That's not unity. That's that Honestly, that's killing your game. That is killing your game when you have a, such a boring event. And, uh, you know, it's not an isolated event. Like I said... Seven deadly dragons, all those those monsters I can just kill by myself. Um, and so it's just it just doesn't make for fun gameplay. I think an, an, honestly an idea would be to like have like a, a multiplayer system where everyone in the room um, adds something to the the like the overall room multiplier I guess. So that multiplier number that is formed from the players in the room would be the number that is used to determine monsters health and monsters damage amount and stuff like that so you could you could have like an automated system that detects player levels overall and like added up between everyone in the room and then class powerfulness overall added up between players in the room and so you get monsters that are automatically balanced to be difficult to kill for your people that are in the room but not impossible because otherwise you'd have if every event was really really difficult then new players would would struggle to to play new events um, whereas if you had like a multiplayer system where if you partied up with all your low level friends The room would then detect that you're all low level and be like, okay, you guys are all low level So let's make these monsters um, Hard for you guys to kill, but they might be really easy for someone who um, Who is high level you'd have to you'd have to really think about balancing it and stuff But honestly an automated system like that would work out would be really good for the game If each room was balanced individually to those players that are in that room Going to slash join Shadow Realm, um, it might you know you might get put in a room with a bunch of low levels, and so you'd be you'd, the monsters would be balanced in such a way that they are overall for your team that you've got challenging. The game just needs to be challenging. Challenging games are fun. A, I don't think a lot of people realize that in the community. Challenging games are fun. People, I think people are under the impression that because they're so powerful and, and they're they're so strong, you know, the game's fun. You know, they're they're having a good time by being really, really brokenly overpowered. But I think players are going to have more fun if they are being actively challenged. If they're like, wow, you know, um, Legion Doom isn't really working out for me right now. What else could I try? You know, what's another option that I could like that I could employ that would allow me to do this in a, in a better way? I think. Having options, having to think, and actively having to change up your style and change the way you're playing the game is just better for everything. It's a better way to play the game. And like I said before, you'd have to balance everything around this. You'd have to balance quest rewards. You'd have to balance, um, you know, monster health. That you know, drop rates. Everything would have to be balanced in such a way that n nothing was really difficult to get. Because obviously, if they made things more difficult to kill and all that then certain items would be really hard to obtain and you know it would be hard to farm rep and it'd be hard to farm xp and all that so you know balance rep rewards balance xp rewards gold rewards all that in such a way that makes the game challenging to play i think that's a just just a, a important idea for the game and i think honestly going forward aqw should be a challenging game to play for everyone 
I think I think that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I, this this was this was like, it's been a long time coming. I've really really wanted to to talk about this for a long time. Hopefully you guys understand what I meant by this video. If you are confused by anything or if you want to understand a, a point any further or you want to just talk about this any more, then I'm going to be in the comment section of this video. I'm always online on Discord. You can talk to me on Discord. You can talk to me on Twitter. Um, just have the conversation. That's important. I think that's important for AE is to communicate with us. Let us know what your idea is. Because we, we honestly don't under, don't know what's happening. If you just release an event with 30 soloing bosses and then, you know, say you're going to re rework combat on the re on server right? What does that mean? Are you going to re rework it so it's easier to solo? Are you going to rework it so it, you can't solo? What's happening? Let us know. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.